A few weeks ago, we built a carbonated water system. We purchased a five pound CO2 tank and a keg. We filled the keg with purified water. It's a five gallon keg. And then we just turned on the CO2 tank, which is regulated at 55 PSI roughly. So we wait about 48 hours and then that water becomes carbonated to the point where it's nice to drink. Now, it is kind of annoying because once you run out of that five gallons, you have to disconnect the CO2 tank, drain all the CO2 out, and then start the process again. So it takes 48 hours for you to get the carbonated water again. So what we're going to do is add a water system that will add water periodically. The plan is it'll add water every time we tap the tank. So the water pump is going to be pushing H2O at 70 PSI. That is greater than the PSI of the CO2 regulator, so hopefully it will just add water and periodically we'll have to do something to tweak it so we can add more CO2 periodically as well. But for now, just to have that water being added, we won't have to wait 48 hours to get carbonated water. It'll always be there on demand. The only thing we have to do is fill the top of our hourglass water filter system. So, yep. Now uh, I'll show you this stuff in reality just so you can visualize it better. This is the top of the hourglass system. Inside here there is a Brita filter which is held in place using beeswax. That's just 100% pure beeswax. It's nothing disgusting. Uh, we needed to have a watertight seal because the Brita filter has a proprietary groove in it which uh, let the water seep out. So we put that uh, beeswax in there to uh, allow the water to stay in the tank without bypassing the filter. And this one is just a normal five gallon jug of water right now and we're going to attach the two with this PPC pipe. Uh, the way this got attached to the end of this five gallon jug was by taking a propane blowtorch to it, heating it up and then sliding it on. It went on like really really well. It was amazing how well it went on after it was heated with the propane torch. So we're gonna have to do the same on this side and attach it to the bottom of the five gallon jug. So, in essence, add water here, tap water here, and then it'll just drain through the Brita filter, and then we'll have filtered water on the bottom. And we're gonna add a tap to this five gallon jug with this. This is, right here, is called a bulkhead fitting, one of the coolest names I've ever seen. Anyway, so uh, we'll drill a hole to match the diameter of this threaded pipe here, mounted in there. And we also have a shutoff valve if needed to prevent water from coming out when we uh, move the hose or something like that. And that's gonna be, the hose is gonna be attached to the barbed fitting here, which is 3 8 inch. All right, I made a mark on the jug. Now I'm just gonna drill a hole through it. Hopefully it'll, uh, Stay in place while I try this. Yep, that went pretty well. Now, since I don't have a bit that's half inch, I'm going to have to uh, uh, ream out the hole that I've already done using the drill that I just used to drill the hole. Hopefully it'll work out pretty well.
Okay. Well, it's not the prettiest hole in the world, but I think the seal will be okay. Well, I didn't think that through. All right, here's a problem. Here's the bulkhead fitting on the inside of the tank, and here it is on the outside. Um, I just managed to get that washer and nut mounted, we're not mounted, but just resting pretty much on top of the bolt using this uh, chopstick. So I need to find a way of holding that nut in place and rotating the bulkhead fitting from the bottom and being able to hold the nut in place while it's inside the tank. So I'm probably going to need a pretty strong piece of metal that I can bend to a right angle to hold the bolt, nut rather. All right, let's see if I can find something to make that out of. Better one shot this. Pretty damn cool. Very well done. <laughs> I like that. That is awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was pretty awesome to make that tool at the end there. Uh, I'm going to keep making segments of this project just because I'm doing it before work, so I don't have time to do it all in one shot right now. So anyway, stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully we'll have more cool little hacks like that coming up. So take care.